Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Fall 2019 Gone West collection from China Glaze. These polishes are available right now on the China Glaze site, the Sally site, and the Ulta site. I will leave all three of those in the description box below where you can check them out. I will also leave all of their Instagram pages and my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. So we do have eight new shades to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Camp Fired Up and China Glaze describes this as a classic lipstick red cream. I think, I mean, it's got some pinky hints to it, um, but it's by no means like a fire engine red and it's a little bit deep. So OPI's My Wish List Is You is what I consider like a classic red and you can see it's got, um, the Camp Fired Up has a little bit of pinky tones to it. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit dustier, so it's red. So here's our first coat of Camp Fired Up. And this covers really, really well here on this first coat. It's practically a one coater. Like if I was rushing out the door and needed a red cream on, I would definitely reach for this one and wear it on just one coat. I am gonna show you what two coats looks like today though because it does deepen the color ever so slightly to match what's in the bottle and to cover up any visible nail line that I might have. Formula on this is really good and really smooth. I had no running or pulling with this one. I didn't have any staining, but I also didn't wear it for an extended period of time, so I would just make sure to wear base coat. So like I said, this does cover completely and fine. And two coats, you will want a glossy top coat even though this dries nice and glossy, but just for longevity purposes. So there is two coats. So up next we have Take the High Rodeo and this is described as a dusty mauve with a golden shimmer. So here's our first coat of Take the High Rodeo. So this one is a little bit more sheer on this first coat, but the formula is still smooth and easy to work with. No running or pulling or staining. The only thing with China Glaze is when their formulas are a little bit thinner, you can have the running down the stem of your brush. So I do make sure to wipe off my entire stem before applying these, which I did mess up a couple times in this video and I'm sure you'll notice when, but this is totally opaque in two coats. This is also gonna dry a little bit dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off. But these are larger particled shimmers in here. It's not glitter, so nothing is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove as far as sticking to your nail goes, but these shimmers do get a little bit messy. So there is two coats. So up next we have Lawless and Flawless, and this is described as a burning sunset pink micro glitter. So here's our first coat of Lawless and Flawless. So this one's very sheer here on this first coat. Formula is a little bit on the thinner side and not difficult to work with whatsoever though. Again, we are working with this larger particled shimmer and it does stand out really, really nicely um, even considering how light the base color is and you know that it's the same kind of hue. So here's our second coat and that's building up in two coats but it's not completely opaque. This like milky pink base is not going to get fully opaque for me depending on if your nails are a little bit shorter or you don't have as much of a visible nail line. This one might be fine for you um, to build up to opacity but if I were to wear it personally I would probably wear this over like a coordinating color, a pink or a red or something of that sort because in three coats here I can still see my nail line. Again, these are those larger particle shimmers, so they're not going to dry textured at all and they're not going to be difficult to remove. This is going to dry it nice and glossy all on its own. Again, you will want top coat just to keep your manicure lasting as long as possible. So there is three coats. Up next we have Gold Mine Your Business and this is just described as a rush of gold foil. This is a like bronzy gold metallic and it does have these little holographic bits in it as well. So here's our first coat of Gold Mine Your Business. Again, this one is pretty sheer here on this first coat and the formula is a little bit thinner. So this is another polish that you would have to worry about. Too much polish running down the stem of your brush. Formula is good though, smooth and easy to apply. 
didn't have any kind of issues as long as I didn't have too much polish on my brush. So I am going to layer one coat of this over black and um, the rest of my nails I'm gonna layer three coats on its own. So I am building up good opacity but not completely opaque. And I'm again not gonna get this one completely opaque as far as visible nail line goes, but it is so reflective that you wouldn't even be able to see your nail line. But look at this over the black. If this doesn't scream like Halloween fall time, I really don't know it does. I love this over the black. Nothing in this one is gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove and you also don't have to worry about brush strokes with this after it's dry. So there's three in one coat. So up next we have Buffalo Bills, Bills, Bills and this is described as an antique bronze duochrome. Um, so to me, the base color of this is more of a brownie shade and it does have like a coppery flash to it. Um, and it does kind of in the shimmer shift at extreme angles to a greeny gold flash. So here's our first cut of Buffalo Bills, Bills, Bills. So this one does cover pretty well here on this first coat. It's not completely opaque, obviously, and I do have some patchy spots, so I am going to go in for a second coat. Formula on this is really good. Not too thick, not too thin, no running or pulling or staining on this one. And the shimmer in this stands out so, so nicely. This is, again, another super fall-y kind of color. I can see myself wearing this a lot come November. So here is our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats for me. This one is going to dry a little bit dull, so you will want a glossy top coat to finish it off, but also to keep your manicure again lasting and protect it. Nothing in this one is going to dry textured because, again, we are working with that larger particle shimmer as opposed to a glitter, and so therefore nothing is going to be difficult to remove in this one either. So there is two coats. Up next we have Cattle Drive Me Crazy, and this is described as a midnight blue shimmer. This is kind of a pearlescent shimmer, super opaque, perfect for stamping, one of those kind of shimmers. Here is one coat of Cattle Drive Me Crazy, and this is entirely opaque in one coat. I fully expected this one to dry matte as well, just because of how the formula felt, um, but it doesn't. It does dry a little dull, so you will want a glossy top coat. And definitely a base coat for this one, possibly two coats because it did stain my nails quite significantly. Um, I kept it on for about an hour without base coat just to see if it would stain and I definitely had some. This is also a polish that you're going to have to worry about brush stroking with, so try to work in straighter strokes or sponge it on. But this one also is going to stamp absolutely beautifully. So there is one coat. Up next we have Cowboy Bye, and this is described as a radiant dark raspberry with silver flecks. <laughs> so, um, to me, this doesn't scream raspberry. Um, it is more of a dusty gray-blue shade with a strong pink to gold flash, and then the little silver flecks that are in here are actually holographic, so beautiful. So here's our first cut of Cowboy Bye. And I got way too much polish on my pinky nail, so I did scrub or wipe some of that off off camera. But formula is good, a little bit on the thinner side, not difficult to work with, but again, you just have to make sure that you don't overload your brush and it will apply absolutely perfectly. This one has a super indie feel to me um, with the shifty shimmer and like the base that is one color but kind of looks like a different color and then the holographic flex it's just really really indie in my eyes and it is so beautiful it is completely opaque in two coats it is also going to dry slightly dull so you will want a glossy top coat to finish this off and these holographic bits are going to shine best in the sun nothing's going to dry textured or be difficult to remove so there's two coats And lastly for today we have Prairie Tail Ending and this is described as a toasted khaki cream. It is looking a little bit more yellow here on camera than it is in person. It is more of a kind of light nutty shade. 
And here's our first cut of Prairie Tail ending. And so I was trying to think of my words in my bottle shots. This is more of like a bone color as opposed to a nutty color in my opinion. Formula is smooth and easy to work with. It's a little bit thick um, as far as China Glaze's creams typically go. It's a little bit on the thicker side and it doesn't self-level as well, um, but it's also not super opaque. So here's our second coat and that does cover completely in two coats for me, but I did have to work a little bit to get it opaque in two coats. You might, this one I probably should have just gone in for three thinner coats, but instead I worked two thicker coats. This is gonna dry glossy all on its own. A glossy top coat would be recommended. Nothing's gonna dry textured or be difficult to remove, so there's two coats. So hands down, my favorite of the collection is Cowboy Buy. This is such a stunning color. It's this like dusty denim blue gray base, and then it's got this strong copper to purpley pink shifty shimmer in it and it's also got the holographic element to it. It's so beautiful, so original, so unlike China Glaze. I love this tremendously, so easily cowboy buys hands down my favorite. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.